Hi friends, this is Sarah from Crafting and Relaxing. And when I travel, I like to share my portable crafting ideas with you. On this trip, I went in the car and it was for work. So you go to one of those conferences, maybe there's some hobnobbing, but there's time when you sit in your room and you know I get up way before they start serving breakfast and coffee. So I just like to bring a little something in case I get the whim or in case I wake up super early. Bringing items on a trip is a fun idea because it forces you to use a small amount. Those of you who are art journalers, you might have heard of the concept of like packing a suitcase or a bag and that's the only thing you get to use for the month. It forces you to grab a few things, throw them in a container and see what you can create. Then I also stop and think about what do I have coming up or what do I have use sitting around my room? that I've been avoiding using. So you saw one where I did scraps. I'll link to my other travel ideas down below, but I just like to share them with you because maybe they'll inspire you and help you come up with ideas. This time I packed in one of these boxes. It has all of these divider things in it normally, and I packed in it for two reasons. A, I wanted my stuff to be right side up, and I have a big roomy car, and I wanted the lid. This lid is what I use for die cutting in bed or working on embellishments while I'm watching TV lots of times. It has the ridge on it. You can use a lap board or any wood board. I've had the same board since I was a little kid, but this catches the dies, the things that'll slide away, the extra sequins, so you don't end up with them in couch, bed, or whatever. So that's kind of why I use this. I packed up two projects. One of them is for Smash Our Stash, we are using sequins in August. So I don't wanna show you too much of what I did because you'll see that video later in the week, but I just wanted you to know what I packed up. So if you think about it, this was one side that I packed up for a project and this was the other. I brought my Star Punch just because I wanted to. I brought my Barely Art Glue because I find that it is wonderful for sequins. I think it might be just a hair shinier than art glitter glue, but I like the tip. It's just great for sequins. I brought a red, white, and blue mix, some red ones. These I didn't use. I brought my tweezers. I forgot my brand new embellishment wand that I haven't even taken it out of the package yet. Then I watched Christy Marcotte's video while I was crafting and thought, gosh, wish I would have brought that. I grabbed it this container of sequins because it had a bunch of blue right there. You'll notice it has one left, so I did use those. I knew that I wouldn't use the other colors, but sometimes for travel, I'm packing in a hurry. I think I threw these in the box in the morning and I was trying to leave at 7 a.m. I'm not gonna show you everything that's in here, but when I left, I had a box. These weren't in this box and I had stamped images in here, then these are done. I try to make sure that I bring on something like this where it's a road trip and I have lots of space, that I bring something to make sure that whatever I make gets home safely. And so I had a box to be sure that they could come home safely. I will show you one example, and this is what I was thinking when I left. I stamped images before I headed out the door, a couple different flags, and you can see that I was in a hurry. I didn't even take the other stamps off the block. So I stamped this flag and I stamped this flag, and then, I glued sequins on there. I like how this one turned out. I'm gonna do another one similar. Didn't like this one so much. In fact, I had a couple up there that I pulled off when they were still loose, just cause it was messier. I'm not gonna toss it out. I'd use it in a junk journal. Probably wouldn't use it on a card. So this was my idea. This is a great project for travel because if it's sort of a tedious or time consuming project, like making scrap cards, you don't have to bring a lot of stuff and you can keep yourself entertained for hours. I didn't need to bring this much. In fact, had I spent more time packing, I would have just taken the navy blue out of here and left everything else behind. Maybe picked out some of these blues in here, I don't know. And like this one I just brought because I had the room. The other thing that I brought was, and this I needed to work on, and then also this. It was almost the end of the month, and I like to do a page in this book each month. I will find it and show you. Okay, this is what this is what I got done. The blue was on the page. I played with, there were a couple other things here I was doing. Not only was I working on my six by six page, 
but Andrea had given me these products and I just hadn't had time to play with them. I thought this would be a much different color. I didn't realize it would fade out to pink. I'd never played with this Jane Davenport thing. It's like a makeup thing. I didn't even know that till I opened it up. So I just played. I did some mark making. I put some color on there. I might move it around some more. I also put a little bit of coarse modeling paste in with the color from this and put it on there, played with that. Honestly, I used this brush. I didn't open the crayons. I brought the Dina Wakely crayons. My plan was to let this dry and come back to it, but then I didn't come back to it yet. So I didn't use anything here. I brought extra. It just gives you an idea. I spent maybe 15 minutes, 10 minutes, putting this color down, running to the restroom and getting some water, then fiddling with the mark making and the texture paste and playing with these products. But at home, I probably would have spent 15 minutes trying to decide what to get out. And I think that's what packing up for a trip kind of helps me with. It's not that I'm obsessed with crafting on every trip that I go on. Okay, maybe a little bit. But I also like the structure that you didn't bring a lot of stuff. It's like when you were very first starting out and maybe you had one set of paint or one stamp set and one color of ink and that's what you were gonna use. So it just pushes you into the actual crafting. And what I'll probably do is leave this kit just the way it is and then work on this side later. I think, I don't know where it is for sure. Look, I've planned my project. I did that before I left. I just walked around my room and said, oh, I'd like to use this. And I like to play with these markers. So I might want some markers for mark making or for the edges. I'm going to keep working on this page and try and limit myself just to these supplies. It's the last day of the month right now and that's a July goal. So <laughs> that might help me actually get it done. So I just wanted you to see what I bring. Obviously, it's very different when I fly. I did not bring a pair of scissors, which was an oops on my part. I like to bring a pair of scissors when I travel, assuming that it's a road trip, because I typically buy paper and then I have time to fussy cut shapes that are in it if I want to. And in fact, on this trip, I bought some gorgeous stuff and thought, oh, I'd like to fussy cut that but didn't have scissors with me. I hope that gives you some inspiration and ideas. And maybe even if you're not traveling anywhere, you can make yourself a small bag or box and say, I'm going to use these supplies when I sit outside and have my coffee in the morning. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.